Hi, and welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Action Force Desert Rat by Valiverse. There you go. So, let's quickly let's get it all out. Um, if you like the channel, follow, hit the bell for notification if you like the video. Uh, give me a thumbs up, like it, all that other stuff. Um, quickly before I start, I wanna address something that was said on my trigger review in the comments um and someone made a comment stating that i don't understand why people like you referring to me have an issue with the weapons being so hard um i don't want you know they're, they're better than the super soft weapons that hasbro has so i want to address that really quickly and when you look at like something like the alley viper i think the weapons are a perfect mixture they're nice uh, they're not hard, they're not soft, um, they don't seem very brittle. There's a lot of the Hasbro stuff in the Marvel Legends. Uh, I know I specifically said the Winter Soldier stuff is super soft. Um, to me, that's unacceptable, it, it does look awful. Um, same with the early versions of like Beachhead and I think every single Duke laser rifle, which I don't like those anyway, are, are warped. But my issue goes back to the... Um, the uh, the weapons pack that first came out the prototype weapons pack and the grenade launcher literally i had dropped it and the handle hit and it stamped off because it's so brittle and you go back to series one a lot of people had issues with the stocks breaking and different weapons breaking along with other things that broke on series one which i've addressed and i believe that they have been taken care of now i don't have series one i borrowed someone's and that's how i reviewed them all and the ones that I did order was are from Big Bad Toy Store. And to be honest, I believe that that crate is sitting at the bottom of the Pacific. There is no way that it would take this long. So I don't think we're ever getting those figures. Um, but that's, that's what my complaint is about weapons that are too hard. When you're actually posing them, when you're doing shots with them, you open them up. If you're not a, if you, if you're an inbox collector, it doesn't matter. You're never going to let those toys breathe, so who cares? But if you're opening them up, you're posing them, you're doing, you know, you're doing photography, there's a chance they're going to break if they're too brittle. Now, I haven't had too many issues um, with the weapons. I haven't had any issues other than that. But you can feel that sometimes they're kind of brittle, and you got to be careful with them. So that's all that I'm going to address with that. That's the reason. I'm not saying I want super soft weapons. I'm not saying I want super hard weapons. I want a nice balance so with that said let's get out of that and let's get into the desert rat figure now this figure is based off an actual youtuber and a special forces guy named tony roberts um it tells where he's from he's on the youtube channels with bobby valley who's the owner of of that um of action force and i think due to their friendship and the fact that he was actually special forces he decided to put him in the line so this actually makes the third live action real person in their series um now as you can see the box is a little different and by a little i mean completely different different colors from what i understand desert rat is an actual figure that was in the action force line before and so now i don't know if that was Tony's favorite one and that's why Bobby did it but just like the Sergeant Slammer that they did it has the original Action Force colors and I'm fine with that it's a Valiverse exclusive so that's pretty cool um there you have the side this artwork um I'm gonna be honest I'm not a big fan of this artwork and I've been very complimentary about the artwork that's been on the side but for this one yeah, not a big fan of it. Um, and on the back, you have your cross style. Again, there's no desert wrap because I believe it is because he is. Um, yeah, I lost my train of thought because <laughs> it's a uh, exclusive. But it's in the file card and it's in yellow. You have your not flag points, your action points, which is like your flag points. So enough with that. That's what the box looks like. All right. We've all seen them a hundred times. Here's your figure. And here you can see I have a pistol. He does not come with the blast effect. That came with the weapons pack that I ordered. Got him with the knife. I actually have the clips out. And then he comes with an M4. 
Now this is the first time I believe in this line that this M4 has been put in. So without further ado, let's not waste any time. Let's take a look at this because again, nobody really wants to be looking at me. All right, so here we go. Here's a look at our figure. Um, let's start off with the legs. He uses the same legs as the trigger. And as I did mention that he no longer has th this, these, these legs no longer have the boot cut, which go right across here. So they call it the ankle, um, which I did say, hey, you know, it's not a big deal. And aesthetically, I understand why they wouldn't have it. But two things on that, and I mentioned this before. Now, I started realizing that if you try and get them in a pose like this, not having the boot cut does cause an issue because you lose the posability of just twisting it a little bit to keep them on solid ground. Where when I got him in this pose here, he wanted to tend to fall over because the way the ankles tend to move, they don't really go solid. Um, and again, other people have mentioned how the, without the boot cut isn't a big deal. I won't mention any names. But I guarantee you that if Hasbro took that away, there would be an uproar. So I understand aesthetically it would take away from right here um, where the boot you don't notice, but it does take away from the posability and keeping your figures actually standing up. So um, I will say I didn't have any issues with moving him around, but when I did grab him off my porch today, it was about 95 degrees. So as I was making dinner, and I opened him, he was literally warm to the touch. So there's his knee, this gets in the way, so it takes away a little bit. But again, I've mentioned before, how many of us can actually kick our butts? Very few. He has the double joints. So his arms or his elbows move that much. Obviously twisting back and forth. He has the butterfly which is nice. You have the drop down hips, which again, I don't like. I feel like they're gonna break. Ankle rockers work pretty nice, except for again, they only move to certain points. And then, you know, I, I think it's gonna be a problem not having the ankle cut. You have the thigh swivel. The other thing that I, for some odd reason, I don't hear anyone really complain about is once again, because they use the same body, they have this overhang, so his arms, we're not going to a complete T. <clears throat> um, his head sculpt here doesn't look bad. It's supposed to look like a younger version of him. To me, it looks like they've actually addressed maybe a complaint that I had with series one and even two, uh, 2A was, to me, it always seemed like these faces were overpainted where sometimes less is more. <laughs> um, or, yeah, that, yeah, less is more. Um, and, again, I think this looks pretty good. Probably the least favorite figure that I have out of the Action Force. Um, it does come with this bandana. I'm assuming it probably has something to do with uh, being in the desert, trying to keep him cool. He has the same um, vest here that the Garrison Calvary has, different paint apps. Again, the paint apps look really nice. He's got the British flag here, a few other different things. Now, on this one, I actually took his ammo clips out. So when I did pictures, um, and they do just slide in very nicely. And what is nice is they go in tight, so you don't have to worry about them falling out, but you're also not gonna be taking them out too often either. Uh, his knife, same thing. Now with the knife, if you're going to make him left-handed, it definitely can get in the way of posing him with his rifle. And then on the back, same as with the Garrison Cavalry, he has his communication device. Um, this one here, he does have the belt. I think this may be the same belt that comes with Duster. I should have brought Duster up. And... So his gun does fit in nicely. No issues. I definitely like the fact that when these things go in, they don't just fall out. So that's good. The complaint I do have is, as cool as I think this looks, and I think it looks absolutely awesome here, comes with a backpack. 
And what plagues him also plagues Sarge in his backpack is that if you put it on, it hangs off way too far because this gets in the way. So I can't see myself ever posing him with this. But that's just me. I can't speak for everyone. Um, now going up to here. All right, so you can see there's nice little paint apps. I'm not really sure if he has a tattoo or if that's flowers on a shirt. I'm not really sure exactly what it is. Um, but it does look really nice. Even the scarf there has some nice paint apps on it. Again, with the backpacks here, it is nice. They open up and you can carry, you know, a few different weapons or different things like that if you just want a storage. So that's nice, smart idea, no doubt about that. Now we'll take a look at his weapon. You know what? I should have mentioned he does come with his arsenal of hands, which I, like I mentioned before, I think we have more than enough hands. He has no helmet. Um, no radio to go with them, different things like that. Seems like, you know, it would have been nice had he had, like, maybe this to go with it. Um, I, again, I don't need that many hands. Um, we got more than enough now. I'd rather have each one have a blast effect, so. All right, so, let's take a look at the M4. So, really nice looking weapon. If you take the one from... The uh, weapons pack Charlie, you can see it's almost the exact same. Okay, uh, I kind of looked at it and put them together. They put the stock on this one and the suppressor, so it obviously makes it different, but everything else looks pretty much the same, other than the paint apps are a little different. Um, and on this side here, they have something on the rail system. All right, but there is one huge beef that I have with this. And I don't know if this just has to do with how these were manufactured, <laughs> but this trigger hole right here is too small for the fingers. So I'll show you quickly with this one here and you put it on it finger fits perfect all right no issues every single weapon has fit flawlessly no problems now with this one when you put it on it's too small for his finger you literally have to push it through and it kind of stretches out the finger because it doesn't slide in perfectly fine. So it looks like for some odd reason when they obviously made the mold a little different. So you can see that there, it didn't fit properly. So now it's actually tight and it pops out. So it's kind of pinching down on its finger. Uh, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it definitely has to do with that hole being just too small for the fingers. Um, but on that really nice figure, oh, he comes with, again, same pistol that Duster comes with. All right, which, I don't know, it seems kind of small at first, but I don't know, man, I gotta look at Duster's, but man, Duster seems smaller, but who knows? Maybe because there was the rifle that Duster came with. You know, it's, this pistol, I believe it's the same rifle. Um, I was actually, when I did, it didn't dawn on me that was Duster's rifle that he came with. So anyway, there you go. Uh, another nice looking figure by Valiverse. I think he's gonna fit in really nice with Dusty um, as one of his guys. I guess I should have mentioned. They, okay, once again, they don't use the, um, the ab crunch. They use a rocker system. He does seem to set a little too high here. That's the one thing I noticed. Like for some odd reason, I didn't never notice any of their other waists 
being this high up. So aesthetically, it seems odd. Um, let me grab this one here. I don't know, he fits, everything seems to fit. He may be the same, but maybe because this hangs down. I don't know, for some odd reason, this is the first one that I've noticed, but it just seems like his body doesn't seem to fit properly. Um, just kind of strange. So, anyway, that's it. There's a take, there's a look at Duster. All right, so there you have it. Let's look at our Duster. A duster. That's a look at our desert rat. And they got all these figures. Um, again, this is probably my the, the one I le like least. He's very bland. Um, again, I think he'll be a good desert trooper. I think he'll go really nice with Dusty. Um, that's probably where I'll be putting him. Uh, but this is probably my least liked figure. He's not a bad figure. He definitely fits in, but. To me, he kind of reminds me of what a green shirt should be. But I guess if you really wanted to, you could order, you know, their figures with the their trooper figures, their builder figures, whatever they want to call them. But hey, you know, you only get one gun. He comes kind of loaded out with everything that you would need for a bunch of green shirts. So I think he actually fits. It'd be nice if they would have given him a helmet. Um, or communication device again comes with the red box which is cool it's a callback to the actual action force i don't know much about action force other than what uh pretty much the full force tells me <laughs> full force podcast which if you're not watching and you're a gi joe fan you should be watching the full force podcast i don't know why i just decided to give them a shout out so anyway i'm gonna call it up i'm gonna call it um, I think I've go, go, gone over enough. I'll put links to the other three figures that I've done from this wave. Um, or you can actually just look in the, um, you know, my videos. Actually, they're all going to be lined up, so it won't be hard to find them. Um, but again, if you like the video, uh, give me a thumbs up, like like it. Follow the channel. It, 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 it does help out tremendously. Um, comments that you have, please leave comments. Uh, anything that I can do to get better. If you guys can have constructive criticism, uh, I, I try and answer the majority of the uh, responses that I get, positive or negative. Hey, you know what? Uh, they're toys. I'm not going to get too upset about anything. Um, again, nice looking action figure. Probably be good if you want to swap out heads um, because you can't see a lot of. Uh, um, a, a lot of uh, color on him other than his hand. So as long as you have a face that's kind of close, you might be able to put a Thor on there or different things like that and kind of army build. But at 32, 33 bucks, it gets pretty pricey. But hey, you spend your money on whatever you want. So anyway, I'm out of here. Um, again, Instagram, a punk with toys. Twitter, a punk with toys. Um, and everyone have a great night, and once again, happy toy hunting.